story to tell. The Italian Navy's strength is being greatly enhanced. Most recently, just a new landing helicopter dock for the Italian Navy is undergoing sea trials. In addition, the Italian Navy currently operates three 1,000-tons amphibious saturn ships, the San Giorgio class, including San Giorgio, San Macro, and San Giusto. They specialize in amphibious operations, replacing the Grado class ships that were decommissioned in the late 1980s. San Macro L9893 is the second ship of the San Giorgio class landing platform dock. San Macro was laid out on 26 March 1985 and launched on 10 October 1987 by Fincantieri at River Trigoso. She was commissioned on 14 May 1988. Compared to today's modern landing platform dock, Saint Macro and her sisters is quite small. Her floor displacement is a thousand tons. The length is 133 meters, and the beam is 20.5 meters. Compared to the Gladol class, which were purely amphibious ships, the Saint Giorgio class represented a new concept utilizing the support of their own helicopters. This platform provides roll-on and roll-off landing capability for land embarkation, airlift through the use of high-capacity aircraft, such as Chinook type helicopters, and transportation by sea to shore using the ship's own systems and landing ships for landing on unprepared shores. The St. Giorgio class has a continuous deck and side island. Looks like a Garibandi or a Tagua type carrier, but smaller. The main fly deck, which runs almost the length of the ship, has four helicopter landing spots. The slender straight bow was blended into the hull by a protuberance life for the hydrodynamic characteristics. The superstructures form a single mass located in the center of the hull on starboard. It also houses a control station, a single funnel, and a small mast to support radars and telecom antennas. Three davits on the main deck are provided for the deployment of three LCVP or MTP landing craft and patrol boat. The hull has a full layout of space for accommodation and living for the crew. The garage, consisting of a continuous deck, extends from the stern to the bow. The garage supports both wheel and track vehicles through the use of ramps and rear hutch. In the central part of the fly deck is a lift, allowing the transfer of vehicles between deck and garage. There is a two-hook traveling crane, each hook rated to carry 40 ton, providing the capability of autonomous loading and unloading operations completely independently of harbor facilities. The propulsion system, including two diesel engines, Granti Motorized, 
deliver it at 1400 horsepower each. Each engine is capable of driving two axles with constant pitch propellers. There are also four diesel engine generators, Granty Motor HS, with 1030 horsepower each. St. Marco can reach a top speed of 21 knots, a range of up to 7,500 nautical miles if maintained at 60 knots. St. Marco is operated by a crew of 150 sailors. A typical load would include a battalion of 350 to 400 personnel plus 30 to 36 track armor personnel carriers or 30 medium tanks. A total of two or three LCVPs can be carried. The stern floatable dock can accommodate three LCM landing craft, each capable of transporting 30 tons of material. From 1999 to 2000, St. Macro was modernized, in which the 76mm MMI cannon and two port side davis for LCVPs were removed. These modifications allow the size of the fly deck to extend from the bow to the stern, where four helicopters could be operated at the same time. St. Macro is capable of operating three seeking SH-3D helicopters or five Augusta Bell AB-212 helicopters. The ship is also armed with two Oerlikan 20mm machine guns for a close defense. The ships of this class are also exceptionally versatile and can be used for disaster assistance operations. Desalination equipment, medical facilities, and helicopter support are available abroad. Their logistical flexibility makes them one of the best rescue vehicles to support civil operations. My video about the Sigma Crew Landing Helicopter Dock Answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.